Hello, David Sweeney here. So we had an email this morning with a patient complaining of sciatic pain on the right leg. Uh, no lower back pain, it's progressively worsening and she's not really sure what to do. Obviously she can't get an adjustment or be seen to. Um, now it sounds to me like it's a disc issue because of the severity and you know it's, it's progressively worsening. It's worse when she's moving around, even when she's not getting any, any improvement when she's resting and lying down. So um, I want to show you the, the test for this to make sure it's coming from the lower back and that will really indicate that it's a sciatica from a disc bulge or disc lesion and then we want to tackle the exercises to help with it. Now at the very end of the video I'm going to talk about icing and heat and how to use that but right now let's quickly jump into nutrition on one of the previous videos I talked about vitamin D3 and how that's really important if we're insufficient it's going to actually cause skeletal sensitivity and pain and that really needs to be dealt with so I'm using 2000 IU per day to keep my levels optimal also omega-3 we want to suppress inflammation that's a fantastic way and then there's a there's a thing called the deflame guidelines and I'll put a link to that in the description actually so you can click on that it's a it's a really it's a really nice little uh, short book you can read on uh, eating the right foods to suppress inflammation in the body so when you have a big joint injury like a disc issue and nerve pressure um, what's happening is we also have a lot of uh, inflammation there and, and we can try to suppress that okay so this is the slumps test now that we're looking at now if you're getting the symptom here this is most likely a disc issue you're you're facing okay now the sciatic nerve floss super important repeat this as much as possible and that will really help take the strain off that sciatic nerve i'd be doing this maybe 30 40 times in a row try to repeat as much as as much as possible cat camel just a standard warm-up uh, exercise for the whole spine five ten minutes here would be really 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 great standing extension now if this feels good you're gonna be working on this okay three sets of 20 Same thing, but laying down now. So you're going to be stretching in this position. We're trying not to activate the muscles too much here. This is only a stretch. Come up to a higher position for the stretch. Now we're activating the muscle, but just a little bit, because if you have a disc bulge, we want to be careful here. Lay on the back. We're going to floss the sciatic nerve off the bad leg only. Maybe a few hundred times or 30, 40 times. Whatever feels good here. Figure four stretch. This may be inappropriate if the back is extremely sensitive. So you need to avoid this if you're in a lot of pain. Okay, so those sets of exercises you just want to be doing that um, for 20 30 minutes you can actually repeat it twice again a day now the stretch I'm showing here this needs to be done if the extension movements are hurting your back so you don't do the extension movements and instead you swap them out and incorporate these positions here and the reason why we do that is this this will be preferable for your desk so that's the most important thing you need to understand about this video if the extension movements are hurting your back you swap them for these last three Okay, so ice packs, you can pick some up on the website if you want on the products page, but 
to be honest, a frozen bag of peas is fine. Just make sure you wrap it up in a tea towel. Now, if you're getting sciatic pain because of the lower back, you need to ice the base of the lower back. We don't obviously ice the um, the leg or anything like that. You have to ice the, the base of the spine. Uh, you want to repeat that three times uh, every day. Uh, if you can, sometimes five times can be really, really helpful. You space it by about two hours between each icing session. And basically, if you have a disc issue there, there's a lot of swelling and inflammation and that's actually squeezing and clamping down on the nerve and that's why you're getting symptoms further afield. It's almost like you know you have a hose, a garden hose, and if you were to squeeze that hose, you wouldn't be getting the, the water at the end and that's how nerves work, they can become compressed. Sometimes you'll sleep in your arm and the whole arm will go dead. If you've ever experienced that, you wake up and it's it feels like blood's coming back into it almost. Uh, similar with the nerve so we want to ice it to reduce inflammation to help out okay so hope you enjoyed the video and please subscribe to the channel uh, it really means a lot to me and like the video as well and have a great day